Today I wanted to uh, make a video about what it takes to change out the hydraulic fluid of a uh, John Deere 4230. And what we're going to do is we're going to change out the uh, the sump filter. Well, we're not going to change the sump filter out. We're going to actually clean it and we're going to change the main filter for the hydraulic system out and we are also going to uh, drain uh, the hydraulic fluid completely uh, from the um, tractor. Okay now here are some of the tools that we're going to uh, be using. Uh, the first tool will be the either a breakover bar or a um, half inch drive uh, uh, ratchet either one will work uh, because you're not using uh, any sockets on this you're actually using the drive the half inch drive on it uh, to take out the uh, sump filter cover uh, you, you'll see that when we get there uh, the other thing you'll need is the inch and a quarter uh, wrench I cannot emphasize enough how having the heat correct uh, tool uh, in that case is because uh, that will help you take out the uh, plug for the drain plug and it is tough so you really need the right tool uh, the other wrench you would need is a three quarters uh, inch wrench uh, the three quarters will be used to take uh, the main filter cover off of the main filter and uh, so those will be the three wrenches that you'll actually uh, you, you actually have to use. Okay, now these are some other items uh, that uh, we will need. Uh, one is a uh, filter. Uh, this filter you can get it from John Deere. It's a Wix number five one one four seven, and it will fit a John Deere forty two thirty. But you will need to look that up just to be sure. Uh, that it fits uh, your John Deere uh, correctly in case they made some kinds of uh, any kind of change later on with the 4230. Uh, the other thing is uh, a bottle of water. Uh, just refill a bottle of water. I didn't buy that uh, just for this. That's just a refilled bottle. And uh, a, uh, a container of Dawn dishwashing liquid, which is always a good thing to have around anyhow. Uh, this is uh, to clean the uh, sump filter because uh, we will reuse uh, the sump filter. Uh, the other things that you're going to need uh, is a container to put the oil in. If you plan on reusing it, uh, I would get one uh, container that you can put a cover on it, uh, like what, you, what you're what you looking at right here. That is actually the container with the oil in it that these items are sitting on. They're sitting on the top cover. Uh, if you're not planning on uh, reusing it, then you can uh, just do whatever you want to. But what I do with the one, the oil that I reuse is I let it set overnight and so that any particulates that have gotten in it will go to the bottom and I'll just uh, skim it off the top and use the good oil that way. Uh, it needs to have at least a capacity of at least 15 gallons uh, just to be safe. Now you can use uh, any kind of uh, you know oil that you normally use, any kind of hydraulic oil that you normally use. I use the uh, the uh, VP uh, Ultra J twenty A plus, which is a high guard equivalent. Uh, it is actually uh, replaces the O three O three oils, uh, the O three O three hydraulic oil. So. Uh, uh, you can get this at Tractor Supply, but anyhow, the, I, I'm just letting you know what I use. You use whatever feels comfortable with you. Okay, now let's get to work. Okay, I am right now laying underneath the 4230 John Deere. And I'm fixing to drain the hydraulic fluid. My hydraulics have quit working. And uh, so I'm going to drain the hydraulic fluid and change out the filter 
uh, the main filter, the Wix filter, and then I will also pull the sump filter out of it. Now, under the under the John Deere, right here, is the main drain plug. Now, don't get it confused with that drain plug right there. That's for the oil. This is for the hydraulic. Okay. So we got the main drain. We have the main drain plug. We have over here. This show you the progression here this is this holds the filter okay has a has a uh, uh, bolt that goes all the way in and when you start taking this bolt loose a lot of times you have to turn this whole thing to get it to continue but it'll turn the boat with it so that's that's uh, no big deal and then right back here is the sump filter now you can tell all this is cleaned up the first time I had to find the sump filter was a pain because it was covered in mud. So a good idea would be to power wash this thing before you actually uh, start start working up under here, or just take your towel like I just did and wipe it off. But I knew I, I, I knew what I was looking for. I knew where it was located. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, get everything uh, uh, taken out and drained. Now this one right here takes a normal uh, socket uh, wrench. I'm going to use a breakover bar. But you see how that see how that fits in there like that? So that, that's what you need to take that off. So just to let you know uh, that's the way it works. Anyhow. Okay. Now I got the drain plug out and I'm going to tell you that was a bear but it's an inch and a quarter. You need to use the right size, uh, the right size wrench. Uh, uh, a box stand wrench would be better because they're made for the leverage. I ended up having to use my foot and my leg to break it loose, uh, to push on it to break it loose. So <laughs> uh, it was in there. But anyhow, that right there, you see where it's draining, okay. Now then, this right here is where the main filter was, and this right over here is where the sump filter is, okay? It's a screen filter. Now, I drained the bottom first, but each one of these actually had fluid still behind them, so don't think you've drained the whole thing, because you, you've got to put stuff up under them to, uh, to catch it on, on the other ones, too. Now then, here's the sump filter, and you can see it's got a little bit of, little bit of stuff in it. Uh, I have actually seen it a lot worse than that. Uh, if you're, uh, if you see a bunch of red stuff in there or something like that, probably means that your, um, that your clutch has come apart, uh, or something in there has gotten in there like that. Uh, that that's what happened to me one time. Okay, now, this right here is the, the regular filter. You can get these at Napa, by the way. Uh, Napa sells them. Uh, I don't know what the number is. You'll have to look your number up. That feels pretty doggone heavy, actually. Um, you got that little bit right there, and I'm not going to save that. I'm going to dump it. And the reason is, is it probably has has some bad stuff in it. Let me put that in there for right now because what I'm going to do is up here I'm going to wipe out the bottom of that. You see that? I have a little bit down in there, a little bit of black sooty looking stuff which is probably granules of some kind. Anyhow, something ain't supposed to be there. That's for darn sure. Okay, now, the new one comes with, the new filter comes with this right here, this uh, ring. So, uh, I would go ahead and use it even though the other one looks all right. Now, one of the things I want to point out, this is the piece that came out of the sump filter, or the hell the sump filter in. See that piece right there? You see that washer on it? Be sure that goes back on there. A lot of times, when you uh, when you pull it out, 
people will drop or, or they'll they'll accidentally drop it or sometimes they drop it on purpose into the into the oil collector and uh, then they they forget that this uh, that this uh, washer is on there I know because I have done that so uh, be, uh, be sure you put it back on because you don't want to have to be taking it back okay, off if you are putting fluid in something filter that's clean now it's clean and uh, the way I cleaned that was with uh, some Dawn dishwashing liquid and water. Uh, always good to carry you some uh, some of that. It's one of the best degreasers you'll find. Uh, and and uh, just be sure, real sure, that you get the thing completely, uh, completely washed with water. Don't leave any of that Dawn in there. And... Uh, and uh, dry it and be sure it's dry. No, no, so the last thing that should be on it is water, then it should be dried. Okay, now to show you how this thing goes back in there, you see right there, let's see if I can get it up there. Okay, you see the hole there? That just goes in there just like that. All right, and make sure that it gets all up in there. See, I'm, I'm having to put my finger in it and twist it. There it went. Okay. Because it tries sometimes not to go in there. You have to put your finger in there and twist it and push it at the same time. All right, I just wanted to show you that because you didn't see it come out. And I just want to show you how, how it goes. And then here, you see right there, that's the sump filter. It's, it's put back. The filter cover with the filter in it is put back here on the main uh, Wix filter. And right here, we have the drain plug, okay? And no, it doesn't go down like this. It goes up, you know, out like this. Always a good idea to put this one in first uh, because it's an easy one to forget. And the last thing you want is to be pouring your stuff in there and then it'll be draining right back out the bottom. All right, although it would kind of clean the system out, but I don't think that's what, what we're looking for at that point. That's why we're doing all the rest of this garbage. Okay, I'm going to go home and I'm going to see what the capacities are I think it's 12 gallons on this it may be 15 gallons because I want to be sure that I put the right amount back in there because uh, this uh, when this oil is new and, and that oil that's in there is it is pretty new it's not burned at all uh, it's hard to uh, it, it's hard to see it on the stick so I want to be darn sure I put the right amount in there and plus I'm going to let the oil, um, see right there, it's in that container with the lid on it. I'm going to let it settle out and any particulates in it uh, that they would be, uh, 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 any particulates in it might go to the bottom. And uh, then I'll, I'll make sure that good oil goes back into it. But anyhow, the reason I wanted to make this was to show how to drain this. And so that's what the video's done. I might make it one later on about uh, whether or not it actually helped it, but I wanted to show you how to drain it, uh, and that is how you drain it.